So the question is, is the Canon G7X Mark II worth purchasing in 2023? So I'll include some test footage and just the reason why I ended up going with the G7X Mark II and not the G7X Mark III or the Sony camera, which everyone says is better, but there is a reason I picked Canon. So here's the test footage. Okay, baby, we're making our first ever YouTube video. What do you have to say to that? I like being on camera. <laughs> We're basically just testing out to see how this looks. So, unplanned, but we're actually getting a crumble cookie for the first time. So, we thought this would be perfect test for a day in your life vlog. Are you excited to eat it? Yeah. How excited? 10 out of 10. 15 out of 10. So this is what it would look and sound like if you were uh, vlogging outside. You kind of have to extend your hand a little bit, but... Um, so this is what an outside use of it would look like. It does a pretty good job of uh, focusing on my face. Hi, Bogart. Hi, Bo. So Luna Bug, what kind of videos would you like to make? I want to make videos of us um, playing games. What kind of games would you like to play? Maybe Roblox games like in Kenton Plays because that show really inspires me. Um, uh, why do you like watching people play video games more than you like watching like Disney shows? Because it's really cool to see what games that you can look for to play on, to play. And it's really cool because you can play all those games in real life. And it's not just cartoons, it's real life. And you can see um, real people. So in that test footage, there was no color grading, no changing of the audio. I can get rid of background noises in post, but I just left it as, it as is. Um, so you get kind of a feel of what... Uh, the mic input for this camera sounds like and that's one of the big differences between the mark 3 the g7x mark 3 compared to the mark 2 I have is that you can have an external mic um, The reason I ended up going with the mark 2 is that common issue people have is um, Focus the M mark 7 just doesn't hit it for autofocus and the Mark II is actually much better at focusing. Um, and the reason I picked uh, Canon over the Sony, uh, the Mark II is uh, like $130 cheaper as of now, um, but there's some reasons, and I think it comes down to color creation. Uh, the co Canon makes uh, beautiful colors, and I think Sony's tend to come off more cold, and I know that you can um, change that in post, and you can do a lot of things, and the Sony is jam-packed with, like, great features, but uh, the G7X is way better looking camera. I like how the screen folds up and not to the side, and it just comes down to that color, like, I think with a point and shoot, I don't need the 4K that's offered by the Mark III or the Sony. Um, I'm totally okay with the HD that this films, but really came down to just the quality of pictures and that, that warm, comfy image that uh, the G7 Mark II can film and it just fits in your pocket. So uh, I hope this test footage helps you make up your mind, I think, going with the Mark II is a great decision and I don't think you'll regret it even though I think this camera is what like nine years old I think I highly suggest the G7X Mark II.